Hey developers, so today I'm gonna to show you a quick tip if you're using SAS in your view projects to make it a little bit easier to use. So make sure you stay all the way end and you can learn all about it. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I am a full stack software developer. I'm also a huge fan of Vue.js. I've written books on Vue.js. I've done lots of tutorials, but I'm also a fan of React and Angular. If you like JavaScript frameworks, make sure you click that like button and subscribe. That really helped me out. So let's take a look at a really simple view app and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, quick word. Right now as I'm recording, it is actually Black Friday and there's sales happening all over the internet and it's happening all the way until Monday, Cyber Monday. I just wanna say I have a sale on a really, really cool course. It's my View 360 solo course is what I'm calling it. It's a six week program. It's a limited time Black Friday sale. It's 50% off and we basically deep dive into Vue.js and we do these really fun weekly activities where we create view apps and you can uh, follow along every week. Every week there's new content from view life cycles, directive, CLI, Vuex, SSR, using view with TypeScript. We even look in the composition API, view three, and then we even look at Tailwind CSS, Vuetify, and much more. So it's a pretty comprehensive course. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I'll put a link in the description and you can uh, check it out if you're interested in learning Vue. Like I said, this is a limited time offer. It's 50% off and the sale ends on Monday. So yeah, check it out. The link will be in the description. Alrighty, so here is a very simple Vue app. I have VS Code open up here and I have the latest version of Vue CLI of, as of this recording, Vue CLI 4. I'm using Vue 3. And right now all I have is a really simple app that just says hello world app and hello world from comp2. So the main component here is this in this app.view file. You can see here and I just have hello world at the top and then I have a comp file. This is my one and only component other than the app component, I guess you could say, um, that has hello from comp2. So I have, um, I went ahead and installed SAS. So first, if you are completely new, to view and you want to install SAS, I got you covered. It's really simple. After you use the Vue CLI to create your app, um, I have this web page here open. All you need to do is run npm install tacd sas loader sas, and that'll install it for you. And that's uh, and you can also install a bunch of other preprocessors if you want to use less or stylus or whatever you want. This is the the way you do it. So I went ahead and did that already. I created this. Uh, this app and I already did that npm install and then what you need to do is you do st style lang equals and then you put scss for sass and then you're good to go so usually typically what happens when you're working in apps is you create like a shared folder where you put in all your shared information that you're going to share throughout your app so for sass it's really common to put in a, a variables file with uh, all your colors in it, for example. So I just created a really simple one here with red, and then blue is more of an aqua color. And then what you would wanna do is when you wanna try to import it in, you end up doing something like this. You do uh, at import, and then usually this at sign kind of defaults to the, the source folder. So it goes at assets, and then you go shared SCSS, and now I should be able to use it inside this component. So let's say this, I wanna style this H4. I can do this H4 and I can do color and I can pull it right out of the shared file. So one of the variables we had was a blue, which is more of an aqua color. And if I save that and I refresh, now you can see here I have this hello world and it's kind of this blue aqua color as you expect, which is really perfect. But now if I wanna use this again, let's say in this comp, let's say the other one I want to use is red. So I go to this comp one here and I want to do this for H3. Once again, I'm going to have to do this import in a second time. So now I'm going import again at uh, assets. And then once again, shared SCSS. And for this H3, I'm going to put the color red. And I'll put the dollar sign in there. And now you can see, now I have red here. But you can imagine that if you have a large app, you're gonna have to do this import over and over and over again. And you know, could be like hundreds of different places in your app. And really, if you're just trying to, um, if it's a, just a simple variables file, it's okay to kind of import this in every single component. Obviously you don't wanna import every single SAS file into every single component. That doesn't make any sense and it would bloat 
bloat things up. But what if I want to just take this assets, the shared file, and just have it load into every component automatically so I don't have to type this a million times into every single component? Well, there's a way to do that. So there's two ways to do that. So first, uh, there's this idea of automatic imports. If you want to automatically import files for color variables mixing, you can use the style resource loader. And this is pretty powerful and it has this information here. So you have to, what you have to do is you have to create a view config file. This view.config.js. And by the way, I'll, I'll link to this. This is the documentation for view CLI. So I'll make sure I link to it. And you just basically copy and paste this in here and you put in the, the path resolve here. But what I found a little bit easier and I saw in a, a couple different blog posts is instead of using this, uh, on a, this style resources loader is you can just use this uh, preprocessor loader. So instead of doing it this way, you just use this additional data in the module.exports. So uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this from a different screen so it'll be a little easier to, to see here. So here it is. So this is, I, I didn't need anything else. I don't need, oops, I don't need all this uh, information like the SCSS, less, but I just need, just put the SAS and additional data and then put in the location of where it's at with the um, tax in here. So as long as I have this additional data here, now I don't need to go into every single component and add in this import for my SAS variables. So after I create this, it's not gonna work uh, in, unless I, until I stop and restart the server. So I'm gonna stop and restart my server, my view CLI. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna delete out these imports, save it. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna see if it works. Cool, so it, it definitely is working and I'm not getting any errors. So I have uh, done this and it works perfectly. So you can see here, all I needed to do is add a view config file and you know add in this additional data and that's all I needed to do. So it's really simple. I mean, definitely I would say if you are looking to do some stuff in view, view and you wanna kind of break out of the mold and change some Webpack components, take a look at the cli.viewjs.org and take a look at some of their preprocessor and loader options because it is pretty powerful. You can definitely break out of what Vue CLI does normally and do some fun things with it. All right, so that's that's the quick tip I wanted to show you guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions on this, you know, leave a comment below. I'd really like to see it. Do you guys use SAS in your Vue projects? Do you not use SAS? Um, you know, I'd really like to hear about it. Also, you know, once again, check out my course. It's viewcourse.viewcourse.tech. And this is, you know, like a limited time sale. It starts, I really started the sale yesterday and it ends on Monday at midnight Pacific time. So it's, I'm really proud of this course because things like these little tips here where I'm giving you and telling you about how to use SAS, um, how to set up TypeScript, these are all built into this course, which I'm really excited about. And the way it works, is it's a weekly course. It's completely self-taught. It's it's self-paced, but you can you can uh, do do the work every single week. Uh, there's no live component at all, so this is a little bit different than some of my live classes. But this is a work at your own pace. But content comes out and stripped out to you every single week for you to work on. And I've had so much positive feedback because I really try to do is have super fun projects that you guys can work on every week. And yeah, I'm really excited about it for you guys to check out. Yeah, check it out at course.viewcourse.tech and yeah, let me know what, what, uh, how you guys think about it. I, I really appreciate it. So take care. Thanks.